not relevant. Please, Doc, help! Something is covered! Listen to me, Ishii, okay? Well, you've been injured in the attack. Doc had to patch your brain with the robot's bioprocessor. You're gonna have trouble getting used to it, but... Uh, it, it, it's, it's like an amputation. I'm gonna help you, okay? You... You are going to help me. I am having a difficult time seeing how you can help me. Your drunken thirst for revenge just killed our crew. I'm... I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry? Ishii, listen to me. The bioprocessor. You can't let it take control. You just can't let that happen. I'm going to kill you, Gray. I see no logical reason not to. That is a final echo instinct leash. Yeah. So what? The communication lock. Open it. Mute the mic. Repeat. All final echo survivors report positions. Tresca, this is Serrano. I'm alive, but stuck on some damned hotel rooftop. Shake that sweet little can of yours. Locals are congregating. I'm in the shit here and need some help. Any other Echo survivors, switch to tracker zero in on my location. I'm off to guard the general downtown. Serrano. Motherfucker is here. <laughs> that changes things, Ishii. Even if you don't want to assassinate that son of a whore, if he's here, rescue jump ships will be here soon. Process that chance of survival. Can you track the woman? Yeah. Got it. We find that broad. We can track her to Serrano we and- We use the general to get off-world. Killing him is counterproductive. I know how important it is for you to help me. Yeah. Of course. I wasn't thinking of killing him. We get to him, get you off-world. I know some black-level bioengineers. We can get you fixed up, Ishii. I swear it on my mother. Then if I expire, you have failed your last bid for redemption. Guess so. The battery cell within this warbot is low. If I do not charge it within 30 minutes, I will die. The freak jobs that attacked us got a large cluster of them southeast of here. They gotta have some power cells. Then I will follow you this one last time. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. This game, I've played through, um, I played through it on normal, now I'm playing on hard. Uh, it's just jokes, it's just such a great game. Uh, just being able to run around, pull people with the leash, shoot them in the air, you develop all these different abilities and like that, just then, that was brilliant. Couple of flaws, yeah, there's always a sum with games, especially if this is a new game. It's, um, it's very similar to Gears of War in the gameplay mode. Um, and the characters, but the graphics look fantastic. I'm running this at full, the uh, highest of highest settings that we can have. Uh, and uh, it just looks amazing. Later on, in the scenery, of the, uh, the scenery just just becomes fantastic. What's this? Oh, right. Yeah, so you've got this leash thing on your hand, and you can pull people towards you with it. You can pull items toward you. When you kick people, they go into slow motion. As as when you pull them towards you, they go into slow motion. And um, and as you go, as you play through the game, it records. Here we go. The Confederation will recognise impressive kills as skill shots. So these skill shots, there's loads and loads of different ways. I think there's 141 different ways of killing people. Which, to any gamer, I mean, come on, really, you're gonna like that. That's gonna be. It's just a good laugh. Um, kicking people off edges, kicking them into other people, using the charge shot of the guns. That's uh, a later feature that you get. Oh, son of a mother. Tech is wild. This cocky leash is grading my performance. <laughs> uh, I do play with a controller, as some of you might have noticed. I use my Xbox controller on my computer. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's so violent as well. This game is just gruesome. All your, all these different ways of killing people.
I was a bit disappointed. Um, I thought uh, I thought it would be somewhat more along the lines of Borderlands, where you can run around this huge map and you've got all this uh, area to explore. And um, I was hoping it would be a bit more like that, but it's a very linear gameplay. I won't ruin too much for those of you who haven't played it yet. But as far as fun goes, you can have you can have a laugh at this game. It really is good fun. There was a review for it that uh, somebody read and told me that said uh, this game really just turns into who can slide around the level the fastest. That's not true. Although you can slide and it's pretty overpowered. Uh, you definitely wouldn't want to do that. You want to get the most out of the gameplay. Just develop your ways of killing people. It's just it's the thing to do. Like this guy. Boom. Pricked. Kicking these barrels at these people as well. Boom. You probably will find yourself running toward people, kicking them and then shooting them. Try and avoid it. As much as as much fun as it is, it uh, does get a bit annoying after a while. Oof. The voice acting is fantastic as well. Uh, later on you meet this woman called Trushka. The insults that her and Grey throw throw between each other are just hilarious. I, I was loving it. Just outrageously filthy. Headshot. So let's look at pros and cons. Now, you might say that the cons of this game are that it's a very linear gameplay. You can't really run around and explore loads and loads of maps. Um, but really, for the fun that you're having, and for the different modes you can also play, it's definitely worth sacrificing a few of those things. Still, I'm not going to admit I wasn't a bit sad when I found out you couldn't run around this huge map and explore it. But as far as I'm concerned, this game has done really, really well. Pros, on the other hand, how many different ways of killing people are there? The scenery, the game itself looks amazing. They put a lot of effort into this, and it looks really, really good. People are going to compare it to Gears of War, games like that. But really, no, it's in the league of its own. You've got this may mayhem of running around, killing people, blowing their heads off. Shoot, shoot them in the nuts, and then they go down on their knees. It's brilliant. Absolutely great. And then all of a sudden, it goes from that into, like, sort of mini modes, the mini games, uh, as Dead Space did, where you have to figure out how to do something, figure out a way around uh, an object or a mini boss, for example. It's really good fun. And later on in the game, as it develops, the guns are... Let me tell you, the guns are probably the biggest pro of this game. The sniper rifle? Easily the best gun in the entire game. If it, if it had an infinite ammo, it, was, it would, would be all I'd use. So yeah, for me, I'm going to give Bulletstorm a... Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. We lose 2 for the linear gameplay. All in all, it's a fantastic game, and the cutscenes in it are brilliant. Um, uh, the scenery as you get later on, looking around, looking around the world itself is absolutely great. And the voice acting is just amazing. Really can't fault these guys. Uh, EA and People Can Fly, congrats to you guys, you've, you've made a good game. Um, but next time for the second one, because I've seen the end and I know there might be a second one, could you please make it at least 20 hours longer? Because that would really, really be worth the money then. Anyway, great game great fun to play mm, maybe not worth 30 pounds probably 15 but um, it's definitely worth getting your hands on and uh, giving it a good play uh, thanks for watching this has been Mechas91 and remember to comment rate and subscribe